Hello children, this is Kalyani here. Welcome to today's session. How do you do? Okay, I think right from the morning you are busy with your day session, right? Reading different subjects and doing activities. What did you plan for it today's evening? Did you plan anything? Are you planning to go to playground? Do you like to play? Do you like any games, any sports? Okay, we will discuss about it in a short period. Before that, let us go to objectives of today's session. Objectives. This session helps you to differentiate games and sports and you come to know the secret of success. I know you like to go to playground and play games. Not only that, on the evenings of the day, even after um, exams and holidays and whenever you get time. Why do you like to play games? Yeah, that is because of recreation, entertainment, moreover for physical exercise too. Not only that, I know you like to watch games and sports on TV screens too. Did you watch cricket? Did you watch uh, English Premier League that is football? Okay, I brought a video for you, just enjoy it for a while. You have watched the video. Have you enjoyed the video? Right. It is something related to games and sports, which is our session's topic. The second unit of your text. Okay. And uh, now I want to show you some images. Try to identify those images. This. What is this? Yes, it's right. It is volleyball. And now the next. What is this? You are right, it is kabaddi. Good chance, right? Next. Ho, oh, what is this, children? You're exactly right, it is basketball. What are they playing there? Hockey. Absolutely right, you are very brilliant. Okay. Oh, your favorite game. Nowadays, it's rocking on the screens of TVs everywhere. Cricket. Good. You all love cricket. I know well. Now, you observe the images on the screen, children. If you observe these activities, all the activities go with team. A number of players are there and two different teams take part in it. Such activity we call as games. Game is different from sports, right? So, now let us see one more image. Here you observe the man, what he is doing? 
he is throwing a javelin. What we call this? Is it a game? No, it is sport. We call it javelin throw. Next, oh my god, he is shooting. Whom? None. His target. What we call this? Shooting. Exactly right. Next image, who? Can you answer? Oh, right, children, it is badminton. One more for you. Where she is running? Nothing. It is a running competition. It is an athlete. That is the thing, right. Now, you just see these images. Ah, she is jumping. Oh my God, what a height it is. What we call this game? It is not game. It is a single player. So, we call it sport and it is pole vaulting. Pole vaulting, right. You observe these four images on the screen. Every activity has been done by a single player. A single player. All the efforts are placed by a single player. So, we call it as sport. It is different from games. Okay, children, people often get confused in case of sports and games. Sports and games are quite different and uh, here let us see the differences of sports and games. Sports, sport involves individual skills that is a single person skills are involved in sports, whereas in games involves collective responsibility of a team. Team mean a group of players, right. And uh, a person participating in a sport is called as athlete or a sport person. And the total responsibility will be on the shoulders of that athlete. He has to take his own decision, individual decision. And now, whereas in case of games, a person who participates in a game is known as a player. Remember children, a person who takes part in sports is an athlete or a sports person. In case of games, we call the participant as a player. And here it is an act of team, teamwork. So, collective decision will be taken. Yeah. In case of sports, here the person has to place all his efforts. So, it is based on his physical energy. There is no support from anyone. He cannot get any support. So, he has to spend all his energy to get the task. And it is based on individual performance. The individual's performance is required more. Moreover, sometimes luck takes place. Then, in case of games, mental strength is required because it is a teamwork and everyone's decision has to be common. And a planning strategy rules has to be maintained. Right. This is how sports and games differ. Sports and games, sports and games differ. This is the way how the sports and games differ. Sports and games are quite essential for physical and mental growth. Sometimes we ignore these sports and games in our busy schedule. So, we must be careful. We must spend some time for these activities. Now, I will show you a video. Just watch it. Athletics has been part of the Paralympic Games since 1960 and offers a wide range of competitions and events. It's open to male and female athletes in all impairment groups. Classifications start with T for track or F for field. Track events include all distances from 100 meters through to marathon, as well as high jump, long jump and triple jump. Field events include discus, shot put, javelin and the club throw, which is unique to para-athletics. This is followed by a double-digit number, 
The first number indicates the type of impairment and the second number indicates the degree. The lower the second number, the greater the impact of the impairment on the athlete's ability to do track or field events. TNF 11 to 13 are for athletes with a visual impairment. Rope tethers or other devices may be used by runners to link with their sighted guides. Only in the last 10 metres can they be apart and the athlete must finish ahead of the guide runner or face disqualification. An assistant may be used to act as a caller to provide acoustic orientation to indicate takeoff and jumping events or throwing target areas. T20 athletes have an intellectual impairment. In the T30s, athletes have a coordination impairment, such as cerebral palsy. T32 to 34 competes in wheelchair racing and F31 to 34 in seated throws, whilst T and F35 to 38 compete standing. T40 to 41 athletes have short stature. 42 to 44 athletes have an impairment in one or both legs, often requiring a prosthetic, but it also includes athletes with impaired muscle power, impaired range of movement, or leg length difference. In classes T45 to 47, athletes have an impairment in one or both arms. T51 to 54 athletes compete in wheelchair racing due to a leg impairment or loss of muscle power in the legs and or trunk. For field events, these athletes are split over classes F51 to 57, competing in seated throws. They also have a limb impairment, for example, from a spinal cord injury. Whether you want to see athletes run 100 metres in just over 10 seconds, marvel at a high jumper with one leg clearing 2 metres, or a thrower propelling a discus nearly 50 metres, this is the sport for you. What do you say, children? You have watched differently challenged people playing games and sports. Did they differ from common people? But they are achievers. What is the secret of their achievement? How did they achieve it? Do you want to know that? Let us see. This is what they say, as Kalam said. They say to themselves always, dream, dream, dream. Dream transfers into thoughts and thoughts results into action. As I said, you have to dream before your dreams can come true. This is what successful people, inspiring people say. Dream is not what you see in sleep. It is the thing which does not let you sleep. Exactly children, you have to dream and work hard to achieve the dream. Do you have any dream? Do you like to achieve the dream? Did you feel your circumstances are an obstacle to your dream? No. Then what plays a vital role in achieving our dream? Just I want to show you a video regarding that. The Eagle and the Storm did you know that an eagle knows when a storm is approaching long before it hits? The eagle will fly up to high spot and wait for the wind to come. When the wind comes, it sets its wings so that the wind will pick it up and lift it above the storm. While the storm raises below, the eagle is soaring about it. The eagle does not escape the storm. It simply uses the storm to lift it higher. When the storms of life come up us, we can rise above them by setting our minds and our beliefs. Faith towards willpower. The storm do not have to overcome us. We can allow our willpower to lift us above them. Willpower enables us to ride the winds that bring sickness and faith and disappointment in our lives. We can soar about the storm. Remember, it is not the burden of life that weighs us down. It is how we handle them. Dear children, you have observed the attitude of eagle. That's right, attitude. Attitude plays a vital role 
in achieving success. So, let us see how to be successful, I mean to say how to achieve success basing on attitude, right. This is your life, so it is your success. Now, what is the secret of this success? What plays a vital role in the success? Attitude, I know, you know that, right. How to achieve this success? There are 7 steps to achieve this success and the top most of it is decide what you want to be. Decision making that is goal setting is very important. Next, work hard to achieve it. Work out the conflicts. You may have many hurdles on your way. Jump over and go on working. And you must visualize your goal, imagine about your goal, dream your goal and go on towards the goal. Put your difficulties in perspective with your goal. So, to achieve the goal, you have adopted a path, right? I mean to say road. Be just as aware of the road to achieving your goals as you are of the goals themselves, you are of the goals, stress the point children, you are the goal itself. Okay, this is very important, you may get depressed or disappointed or sometimes tired of your routine act. So, always ask yourself, is this really important? Then you feel, yes, this is important, I have to achieve it. You get boosted and you go on working. Always remember that achieving goals is not so easy. Your goals takes your path, that is discipline and courage. The two channels to achieve the goal are discipline and courage. Go on. As somebody said, every successful person has a painful story and every painful story has a successful ending. So, what we have to do? Accept the pain and get ready to success. Right children, everyone will have a dream in their life. You too may have a dream, but do not get disappointed if your dreams are not being succeeded. It is in your hand how you are going to get your dream fulfilled. If you want to be an athlete, if you want to be a player, do not think that it is wrong. Go on, play, enjoy and try to achieve it. So, we have come to end of today's session. Be happy, work hard to achieve your goal. May God shower all success to you. Bye bye, see you in the next session. Oh,